how will you look back on Patrick Marlowe's legacy in the two seasons you had him with this club? Well, obviously, Pat is a good man, and, uh, you know, we uh, acquired him for a reason to help us. I believe he was uh, a, a big part in recruiting John Tavares. Uh, there's so many things to it. Obviously, uh, this is a situation where he's going to move somewhere else and pursue his career. Uh, ideally, it would be a good situation for him and his family. Wherever he gets to go, we just thank him. What? what? I'm usually gone by now. He had that much delay. Eh? Uh, just um, where do you see the team shaping up at left wing? Because you're now you, you, you lost him. Uh, Zach Hyman, you don't know if yeah. he's going to be ready. Like where? where? Well, I'm, you know, uh, Mikheyev obviously is, is going to be a big part of our hockey club here, so that'll be part. But uh, the bottom line, that's where we have training camp. We've got lots of time, right? It's. You know, when I look around, uh, see where it's at right now, th this freed up a bunch of uh, cap space, which we needed, and, and so now we go from here. How did he sort of you know, take it that you guys really didn't need him to leave to free up that well, cap space? Well, you know, you'd have to talk to Doobie about that. Is But obviously, uh, he's not a kid. He's a man. There's been lots of conversations between him and Kyle to get to where he wanted to go. But obviously, Patty's been a, a big part of it. Mike, you were confident all along that Willie would get done eventually, and it did. Are, you, you were confident all along that Willie would get uh, done, and it did. Are, you have the same mindset with Mitch and how things are going uh, there. You know, I mean, it's a new landscape in the NHL, obviously. Uh, I've never seen the kind of things that take place now. Yeah. But, no, I, I don't uh, Mitch likes being a leaf. He's from Toronto. You see opportunities on the blue line given uh, Dermott's situation and, and what may happen with free agency with Jake uh, for guys in the organization? Oh, that, but I mean, obviously we've got some work to do there, right? Mike, what do you think Marlowe's legacy will be looking back? Well, I don't know. Is he going to play longer than Gordie Howe? I mean, exactly. So I don't. Th I think it's way too early to discuss that. But Patty's uh, ultra competitive, great fitness guy, good human being, wants to play. His family supports him playing. Why wouldn't he keep playing as long as he can and see where it goes? And so. Uh, you know, I mean, he's just a real good player, and he's been healthy, and he's been able to play a long time, and he'll continue to play. How do you think Mike Levy and some of your guys will benefit? Well, I just think, uh, you know, when you think about it, is a uh, real good pro. Uh, we have John Tavares, unbelievable pro. Morgan Riley's turned himself into a real good pro. Freddie Anderson has become a totally committed pro. We have a good leadership core in our group. We need these young guys like Mitchie, Matty, Willie. I mean, Hyman's a leader in that way anyway, to continue to evolve and become leaders themselves and really good pros and set an example. Uh, leadership isn't about what you say, it's about doing it right every day and finding a new way to reinvent yourself every summer as a pro to continue to get better, and that's what Tavares does for us.